Hey guys, welcome back. So I have good news. In my last video, I was complaining quite a bit about um, Amazon and how late they were. Anyway, I just want to welcome everyone back. And if anyone's here new today, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, so my package came from Amazon. Finally, it was a day late, or a little bit over that. But anyway, it's here now. And so here's my beautiful uh, flow troll that I needed. Here's these guys. Anyway, um, here's the apple barrel. Uh, apple barrel. I really love the packaging of this. It's really, really cute. So like I said, um, I messed up. I thought I got the pouring medium, but I got acrylic white paint, which is fine. Like I could definitely use that. Um, and I love the names of these uh, colors. This is so cute. This is Tropic Orange. Let me turn that around. Um, and these colors are really nice. This is called Key West. Focus. This is called Sunny Day. Um, that's just Turquoise. And that is Concord Grape. So they're really pretty colors. The packaging is really cute. Um, I don't know how the paint's going to be. That's the real test. Um, and I believe this is more like crafty paint. So I probably will not have to use a lot of Floetrol. Uh, because usually craft paint um, <clears throat> excuse me, has more water in it uh, to begin with. So it's not as pigmented, but I have no idea how this paint's going to be because I've never used it before. So I don't want to judge it before um, anything, you know. So, um, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to, you know, when I test something out, I like to do like a flip cup and see how it works. Um, so I'm probably going to do a flip cup and I'm going to use all these colors and we're just going to see how they came out. I actually have one or two more color. I think it's just one more color coming. I think it's a pink color. Um, but that's not going to come till tomorrow the next day. So I'll just add the add that color to these paints and then we'll after we test out with the flip cup, uh, I'll do some other types of pours. Maybe I'll do a Dutch pour. You know, who knows, okay? So stick around, and the flip cup is a-coming. All right. Thanks, guys. See you in a minute. Bye. Hey, guys. How are you? So I am back, and um, before I get started with the pour, I just kind of want to show you what I did. I, I uh, tried out the apple barrel last night. I couldn't help myself. I was going to try it for the first time with you guys, but I'm going to do a pour in a few. So this is was this is called Key West. It's a real pretty color. It's this color right here. And I'll be honest with you, these paints are really uh, nice. You know, I cannot complain. But look, look at this. I I already mixed the color in here. It's all ready to go. And um, the color, the paint is actually pretty cool. Um, but I wanted to. Do a little beginner kind of quick tutorial here because I really wanted to stress that just because I'm an artist and I have been one for my whole life, you know, really, it that has nothing to do with it. In my book, anyone could do this type of painting. Anybody. Um, you could do this with your children, obviously with like parent supervision. It's really important to know you do not have to be an artist to do this, okay? This is very therapeutic. Um, it, it really teaches a lot about having control over some things and then letting go. I'll be very honest with you. I really don't know how each and every painting is going to come out. I can control certain aspects of it. Um, like I said, like the quote-unquote scientific part, like the mixing and all that. But when I pour out onto the canvas, I have less control. And that's a great thing because you let go and you just kind of have fun and experiment. It is incredibly therapeutic. Um, but I just want to say that anybody could do this. And I want everyone to be able to do this. You know, that's really my um, goal is to teach 
everybody, not just artists, everybody, that they can do this type of work and just to have fun with it. You know, I'm an artist, I take it more seriously, and this is my life. Um, but anyone could do this. So these paints here, okay, boop, boop, boop. Um, what I did was I put a little in a cup, like this guy right here. Okay, this is the same color, Key West. And I put about a quarter, the bottom of the cup, of Floetrol. So this is the cup I used, okay? And I just put, you know, this is the Floetrol. And if you don't know what Floetrol is, it is, I'm going to tell you right now, it eliminates brush and roller marks and improves flow and leveling. And this is used for like regular house paint. Okay, but this just makes the paint more fluid. Now with these paints, I'll be honest with you, because they're cheaper and they're more crafty paints, um, you could probably just add a little water to it and make it flow. Okay, and I've seen other people use higher quality paints and just added water, no flow troll or anything. So you can really do this on a budget. This literally cost me 50 cents on Amazon. Okay, 50 cents, and you can like try this out for yourselves. I mean, the flow troll was about seven dollars, and you get you know, you get quite a bit, and especially in paints like this, you don't need to use a lot. But like I said, you could just use water. So, you know, I just put um, a little flow troll in a cup, like so. Okay, that's probably all I'm gonna need. That may even be too much. And then, I just pour the paint in. And it's really as simple as that. But the consistency is what's important. So I'm going to take this, use the same color. And then, you just stir, 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 stir. And just keep on stirring. And it needs maybe a little more. Actually, that's about right. So this is how you do your testing. Let's see how it flows. It should flow about that. I don't want to add any more because I don't want because being too fluid, your paint will just slide all over the cans. But this is about good, so I, I did pretty well. So that's how your consistency should be. Okay, to keep on doing that until you're satisfied with consistency. And all your paints should be about the same consistency in each of your cups. This is Tropic Mango, I believe, or Tropic Orange. I forgot what the name of that one is. It's like an orange. This is the turquoise, is what we'll be using today. Um, this is Concord Gray, purple. And this is called Sunny Day, yellow, obviously. And in here, it's the same brand. I have it here. It's white. It's the same brand, Apple Barrel. And I just put some Floetrol in there. Okay, but I have a lot more, so I used a lot more Floetrol, you know, to um, the paint. And all you need is a blank canvas. And this is this is a 9 by 12 but this is an 8 by 10 And it's brand new in the package still. Okay. And today we're going to be doing, you know, really simple. This is this was a flip cup pour. And actually, speaking of like the cells and all that, um, my last video when I was trying to make cells out of the other type of paint, the uh, Artist Loft um, pre-mixed paint, I was getting frustrated with the cells. This, you know, with the flow troll, this created some nice uh, cells here. I'll just see, I'll pop this up here. So it's very pretty. It doesn't dry glossy like the uh, Artist Loft. I wasn't expecting it to. Um, but it's a I, I add a lot of white to it, so it came out even more pastel. I think in the neck, in the what I'm doing next, um, I'm gonna probably add a little less white to it because I want like more of the color to pop out, so you could see. Um, and then you know, as you've seen in my other videos, I just use. This is like a kitchen torch. You can make like creme brulee, you know, like stuff like that. And you just click it on and that's it. You fill it up. 
It's really easy. And that's really to take out any of the air bubbles uh, when you're pouring out. Because when you start mixing, mixing, mixing your paints, air bubbles can get in and it can crack it. It could, you know, make, I mean, I like texture in painting, but some people, they do not like texture. Um, and it takes out any potential air bubbles, any potential problems that w while it's drying, um, could create cracks and stuff that you may not want in your painting. And if you're doing this uh, with children, you know, obviously parents have to do this uh, for them. But I just want today to stress out, uh, to stress out. No, I didn't want to stress out. I wanted to stress that really anyone and everyone can do this type of work. And we're going to do a flip cup today. It's a perfect like beginner pour. Um, that's what I start out with, honestly. Um, yeah, so we're going to get to it. And I hope you enjoyed this little section of the video. I'll be right back with the pour, okay? All right, guys.
Hey guys, I'm back. So we are done. And I apologize ahead of time. Um, as usual, they are doing construction right outside of my building. Um, if you don't know, I do live in New York City in Queens. And it is always kind of noisy outside, whether it be a motorcycle, a bus, something. But there is a lot of construction going out outside in the street. So if you hear any drills or saws, I do apologize. So we're done with the pour. This came out really pretty with a lot of, you know, not a lot, a lot, but there are some cells here. I'm going to zoom in for you. That's a little too much zoom. I'm going to lift it up. and You can see it a little closely. And here we go. Wow. Those colors are really pretty. And they mix really well with one another. And it's very pastel and soft. Perfect for, you know, therapy, honestly. Soft, pretty colors. And color really uh, affects the mood, you know. Um, I definitely am going to continue doing like different pouring techniques and really looking into different products, different types of paints and pouring. But honestly, um, my very good friend Sarah Rabinu, and I'm going to link her uh, Facebook uh, page. She has a YouTube channel, but she's really not on that all that much. Uh, she is an art therapist, but she... Um, is also a love and relationship coach, but as an art therapist, but I'm going to link you to her love and relationship uh, page, uh, because what she teaches, you cannot just use in like your relationships, but it's really all about you and yourself and your own happiness and taking care of yourself, loving yourself, and then bringing that out into the world, into all your relationships. So I have learned a lot from her. Um, about myself and so I could even do this and um, yeah so you know I really want to link uh, you guys to her page uh, but uh, her as an art therapist she's the one that really kind of brought it to my attention about the control and letting go and and this type of art and it can be used in therapy so my point basically was I want to kind of get more into a little bit into like the therapeutic aspect of um, this type of artwork. I don't know if a lot of people do that. I'm sure there are plenty out there. Um, but honestly, I think it's really important. Color definitely affects the mood. Doing art and expressing yourself, whether you're an artist or not, um, can be a beautiful thing for your for your spirit, for your soul, whatever you want to call it. Um, the fact that you've made something with your own two hands is very satisfying, uh, especially to me. I work with my hands all the time. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. But I love this painting. I think it came out really pretty. I do hope you enjoyed this today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave me a little like, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you'll never miss one of my videos. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you the next time. Bye, guys. Love you.